what we think there's more than just taking shots of beer. There's about building a relationship with these breweries. Let's cut the breweries down to only North Carolina, South Carolina breweries. Build these relationships and give you something more to do than just take shots of beer. Ethan over here is your master brewer. This is my head brewer, Ethan Hall. He's come up with all of our recipes. And uh, it, it's a funny story. We brewed beer for a couple times in the garage. He said, he said, I can make it. I said, damn right you can. I can sell it. Sounds like that. That is commercial, right. but we're here. Yeah. yeah, but we're here. We're making it happen. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, guys. Give me your Hi there, I'm Dan from Butter like Brewing in Kinston, North Carolina, and you're watching MBBL TV. Hey guys, I'm here with Kevin from Front Street Brewery, one of the, uh, the brew pubs here in Wilmington. Uh, Kevin, you had some pretty good news recently. Yeah, we won a gold medal at uh, World Beer Cup. I'm pretty stoked about that uh, for a spring brew. Uh, didn't expect it, but we won it, so I'm pretty happy. That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about Front Street. Uh, Front Street Brewery is a uh, brew pub downtown Wilmington. Wilmington's only brewery. I've um, been there since 1995, and I've been at the helm for about six years now. Um, so yeah, great food, great beer, great atmosphere. Yeah, I see your Facebook posts all the time. I want to drive up here every week to get you know your, your right. lunch special. So. Yeah, we got uh, yeah, we got a lunch special every day. We got a beer special every day. Typically, some sort of liquor special as well. So that helps out every everybody. Awesome. <laughs> well, thanks, Kevin. Cheers. Cheers. Alright, so uh, we've been at the Wilmington Beer Fest for a while, obviously. Uh, so things are starting to wind down. Uh, it's a beautiful beer fest. It's not over. Things are starting to wind down. We're going to go uh, grab something to eat at uh, probably Front Street Brewery because they are awesome. Great beer fest. Lots of uh, local fare. We have some stuff from North Carolina, some South Carolina. It, it doesn't look like it, but... Shit! I wasn't recording! Now I'm recording! Oh! Hurry up! The battery's gonna die! Alright, things are starting to wind down. We're, uh, we had a great time here at the, uh, the Women's of Beer Fest. Things are starting to wind down. We've had a great time. We've drank a lot of great beers. Hopefully some of these guys will make it you know, into the uh, South Carolina region. In the meantime, Myrtle Beach, this brews for you. Hey, it's Lucas. I'm at WMBF News. Um, getting ready to do a beer tasting on the, the 4 o'clock news, so <laughs> good luck to me. Welcome back on hot summer days in the Grand Strand. There's maybe nothing better than a nice cold beer. And today we have the help of Thomas Lucas with the MyrtleBeachBeerLovers.com to pick out a couple that we may not have tried before. Thanks for coming in. Hey, thank you. Okay, so your website's got all kinds of local reviews, feedback, perspectives. Yep. Uh, and tell me uh, the perspective of the local guys. Well, New South, which is right down the street, great, great bunch of guys. Um, they brew everything in either keg or can, mm -hmm. which is nice. Very sessionable beers, under 5% alcohol content, so you can drink several of them on a hot sunny day. Sure. Uh, the White Ale, which I brought for you today, um, is in a can, so poolside, fine, no glass, sure. no problems there. On the boat um, for the deep sea fishing excursions. Yep, any, anything you'd like to do. Good. Um, what else have we got here? Okay, so we've got Dale's Pale Ale. This is a little bit of a heavier beer. Mm -hmm. um, this is out of... Um, Colorado. Okay. They're actually moving to Asheville where they're opening a brewery and a place in Asheville. So that'll be actually a, a, a regional beer very soon, probably okay. by December. Right. Um, Sierra Nevada also coming to Asheville. Um, this is a, their summertime beer. Great beer. Very yeah. light, very refreshing. Um, Sam Adams, cherry wheat. This is going to be a, a lighter fare, usually for the ladies. They mm -hmm. like the, the cherry and the, the, the sweetness. The, the sweet it. in there. Um, this is from Coast. This is a Charleston beer. Um, this is a IPA. This is going to be very hoppy, very kind of bitter. Yeah, and um, 
the hoppy is it is the hoppy it seems like gives you almost that uh, pine tree kind of a yep. feel flavor yep. smell absolutely um, but that's the hops that's the bitterness right uh, which is a nice texture a nice contrast yep. especially I guess after a cherry wheat when you're talking about contrast <laughs> right, right. The, the neat thing I feel like we just did a lot about wines beer is also really in the eye of the beholder it's yep. what tastes good to you right absolutely so people don't need to be intimidated by this or that it's really whatever flavor you like yep I'm a hop head yeah I, I the hoppier the better yeah uh, my wife is more of the lighter you know the cherry wheats one her favorites. Um, we have several guys for the site, and yeah. all the different reviews kind of say that. It's like, oh, hey, you know, I like this, but so check this out. Yeah, so. and even on, I guess, a hot summer day, of course, you might be drawn to maybe a little more sweet, something kind of more refreshing. Yep. Very, something lighter than the hops. Um, yep. Uh, how cool is it to have people who don't know about uh, New South Ale to have it here? It's all local. It's, it's, it's awesome. And they're, like I said, they're such great guys. You can go there on Tuesdays and Thursdays and tour the brewery, um, have some samples, uh, pick up growlers. Um, get you know get your cans of white and nut brown good stuff all right well you're gonna stick around for some more beer tips yep. coming up right all yep. right thomas lucas thanks for your time thank you jamie we're showing you a few beers that you might want to try with the weather warming up beach season right around the corner joining us from myrtle beach beer lovers thomas lucas he goes by lucas yep. and you've brought uh brought up five new beers from the last half an hour these right. are new ones we're going to talk uh, about yep. all except for I, I definitely wanted to show off you know our our, our hometown beer yeah the beer the from here guys. the local guys uh new south <laughs> Um, great summer beer in a can, poolside, no glass, so that's always good. Um, for the ladies, you were talking about that you like the, the flavored beers. Um, we have the Abita Strawberry, which is very nice, very, uh, it's all natural strawberry flavors, so it's, it, it's not that artificial flavor, so it's very mm -hmm. good. Sierra Nevada Summerfest, excellent beer, great sitting out, especially after you get them mowing the lawn, crack one open, excellent. Um, the Highland, this is I brought along, this is actually from Asheville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, this is a Gaelic Ale, it's a little bit higher in alcohol content, but still very, very drinkable, not too heavy. Um, and then the New Belgian, this is their summer release, which is the Blue Paddle, which uh, New Belgian is a, a, a brewery out of Colorado, which has just bought a gigantic area in Asheville going to build a brand new yeah, brewery. We've, we've done a lot of stories here on the news about these breweries kind of opening these new locations in North Carolina. What do you think is attracting them here to, to at least the East Coast? It's beer capital of the United States. I mean, it, it, there's more breweries there than any place else in the United States. Um, yeah. It's just good people, you know, good taxes for the mm -hmm. business side of it. Yeah. But uh, just, you know, all in all, it, it, that's where you go. It's a big hippie town. So, you know, you get to go and, and uh, really enjoy the different good beers yeah and so. bring your product to the carolinas right, where right. so many and people it, you know it's so much cheaper too now that they're all uh distributing here mm -hmm. to ship from california or colorado or mm -hmm. those areas to the east coast you might as well brew it over here yeah. it's going to save you in the long run absolutely so. we were talking uh, before this segment about a, a lot of women sometimes you know i'm not huge on beer but if i'm going to taste it i like the kind of the fruitier flavors right yeah, um, you know, there, there's all sorts. There's there's the strawberries, the blueberries, um, also chocolate beers. Um, mm -hmm. there's so, you know, to sit there and say, well, you know, I just, I don't like beer. We get that a lot. A lot of times when, yeah. you know, we're out talking to people all the time and that you don't know that you don't like beer. You don't like the mass produced beers that, you know, are at the big end of the aisle. Right. So when you go to the grocery, maybe take a little bit of a trip down down the other side right. see some of the craft brewers see some of the, the things you've never tried before read the labels you know see if, if it if it sounds like something you might enjoy mm -hmm. just like a good bottle of wine you know grab it out read a label and go from there okay and really quick we have the new south uh white ale the new here south white. we were going to pour it uh to let anybody out there who maybe thinks they aren't a beer drinker which i would put myself in that category yep, this is very Lucas very nice very refreshing try it because this might be i'll take one with you so what do you think? That is good. We should have cheers first, cheers, I yeah. guess. That's my fault. That's very, it's light tasting, and it doesn't actually remind me uh, of a beer, at least beers that yeah, I have tasted right, in the past. It's right. not a heavy taste. No, nope, it's not a heavy taste. Um, you, like I said, it's it's definitely, it's um, a very low alcohol content, mm -hmm. so it's a sessionable beer. Mm -hmm. So you can take, you know, six or seven to the pool with you in yeah. a cooler and, you know, enjoy sit the there and enjoy the afternoon. And you're helping the local economy, helping Absolutely. the local guys. Go see Dave and those guys. Lucas from Myrtle Beach Beer Lovers, thanks for joining us Thank this you. afternoon. Michael. Hi, I'm Scott from Duck Rabbit Craft Brewery, and you're watching MBBL TV.
Obi Wan, this is Yoda too. I think I found the secret location of the rendezvous. Cool. Do you think we can get in? I think so. It's pretty packed and pretty fun. I smell barbecue and I smell beer. Beer? I'm in. Where's your location? I'm right here by the sign. Really? Don't you see me? No, I'm by but the I'm sign. Right here. Where but, are you? But, but look. We made it. We're at the invitation only New South Friends and Family Barbecue. Let's go! Check it out.